you said, "Hey, open up this box in your in your living room," and I opened it up, and uh, it took me it took it for like a second for it to sink in. I'm like, "Okay, well, that's a board game, and it's based off of the original <laughs> board game because mm-hmm. I have the original, but this is different in one key area." This this was one thing that uh, actually kind of got me excited when it was announced. Um, yeah, what a couple months ago, I think. Um, Hasbro is is coming out with several vintage characters, but one thing they decided so, um, three and three quarter three, same size as the original. Yeah, same. It's it's re release of the of the old characters. Are they a different mold, or are they same? They're the same mold because I didn't know about this, and so I'm. I'm... I want to say they're the same mold, um, but they have changed the date, the stamp dates, the okay. the, the dates on them. Um, I remember seeing. I think I saw one of Pixel Dan's videos where he was kind of kind of comparing them. Um, so there is a way to distinguish them from the from the actual vintage. Okay. Um, uh, Star Wars figures. Um, whether or not they've they've altered um, some of the sculpts or not, I don't know. I haven't seen that in depth of comparisons as far as the figures go with the vintage. But from what I understand, they were supposed to actually just be from the same molds themselves, from the actual line. So what makes <clears throat> this so special? This one is special. Uh, this is a board game that uh, it, it's basically a re-release of, of the vintage board game here, the uh, Escape from the Death Star. Um, but what they did is they actually made a brand new Tarkin figure, but made it look like it was released in like 1978. Okay. When he, so when you say brand new uh, Tarkin figure, uh, brand new to ever exist. This is a remake of the original because there was no original Tarkin figure. Exactly. There was never a vintage release of Tarkin. Um, Which is strange to see all the really weird and obscure characters that they made in, in, in the vintage line, this main character here wasn't made. Now, I, I, my guess, now, is there an official reason for that? Or Because I, I have my guesses as to why that is. I don't know if it was um, they couldn't secure the, 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 the rights to the, the likeness. likeness. Which doesn't make any sense because they were able to get everybody yeah. else. I, I, my working theory, and I might, I might be completely wrong, but my working theory on this is that maybe they just didn't think kids would be interested in some old guy on, on the station, quote unquote. You know, no, no, would, no disrespect it'd, it'd to, be a to, peg, to. It'd be a peg warmer. Right, right. That's one of the the best theories that I've heard because there really is no other other. That's what I've can... always thought. I mean, it just kind of, it kind of makes sense. If it, maybe they they only had a certain amount of figures they could do, and they're like, okay, look, Tarkin on screen, major character, but what kid wants to play with an old man? God, that that's there's no way to say that sentence without having it sound really really bad. <laughs> yeah, no, that actually makes some sense. Um, you know, especially it being a line that at first they didn't really know how successful it was going to be. You know that they would kind of channel their efforts into making cooler looking characters that had the potential of being bought compared to some crusty old man you know what i mean that actually makes some sense right probably would have sat on the shelf and collected dust kind of like rose has on the (laughs) the lure lines and you know what might very well might have actually now if you think about it um when you have like some some weird bizarre you know alien figures that nobody's ever seen before that look really neat compared to just I mean, what's special about Tarkin, you know? I mean, that that actually, you're, you're probably onto something, actually. Um, but I do I did appreciate the fact that that Hasbro, and, and I am I am the first one to, to, to knock Hasbro whenever they do something stupid or they do something that just doesn't make any sense or that's aggravating to me. Uh, this is one of the things that they've done recently that I actually appreciated the effort. I just now noticed this, but... I'm assuming that they did that. They made it look like the yeah. packaging is damaged. Yeah, on all damaged. the packaging yeah. on, on this new line of figures, they, they kind of make the, the packaging look like it's old and, and worn out, you know, okay. which is kind of neat. I salute Hasbro for this figure. Uh, this figure, for me, is going to be in my vintage collection because it should have already been there. It should have been something that Kenner had made from the beginning. And, and this is almost like... Um, um, it's almost like like making things right. So okay, that kind of answers. I think it answers what I was going to ask you. Um, are you going to open it up and take him out? Absolutely, I'm going to open it up and take it out. That's that's what we're going to do. Ha- Hasbro has has gotten kind of um, some flack over this, um, um, simply because it's something that they decided to to pack in uh, this figure, anyways, with a um, with a board game. Well, the thing is, it's it's. 
essentially the board game itself is ten dollars if you think of like the fig because the figures are going for ten right about i think so like about 10, 10 okay yeah. so and this was 20. this was tw this was 20 so ten dollars for the for the board game it's not bad i don't and again i don't i don't actually i don't blame hasbro for doing this because they know this is the figure that people have wanted uh for 40 years or so you know okay so i didn't even realize that that's it's in its Packaging yeah, like yeah, that. it's in, like it's, I, in its, it's in. I figured its, it would just be like in a little shell. This is a figure that, for me, is going to be set up with my vintage collection because this is this is a figure that should have always been. Should have been. <laughs> it should have been there from it, the beginning. You got you got what like thirty years now, just really pissed off that it's not. It, it, it's it, not been a thing. Well, it doesn't make any sense. We've said before they came out with two Snaggletooth figures, but there yeah. was no Tarkin in the original line, you know? Snaggletooth, <laughs> who was on, on camera for what, uh, five seconds? Yes, if that? exactly. Yeah. I'm always one that, that will stick it to Hasbro whenever they do something stupid. This was one of the things that they've done recently that I actually appreciated because somebody somewhere along the lines was was realizing this is something that the fans have wanted forever now and and the fact that they are finally giving it to us um i think it's fantastic you know hopefully this is going to be the 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 beginning of some other figures that we never really got back in the ooh, day that ooh, we that's a wanted. good okay are you talking specifically star wars yeah yeah okay. from from the okay. from the vintage line so who know? else yeah who are, who, are, who are the major characters were we were, did we not get that we were missing uh well, I would have liked to have seen. Um, I'd like to see them do a a Han in stormtrooper outfit that doesn't look like his head's been smashed in. You know what okay. I mean? Like yeah. like you still have that vintage feel, but it actually looks better than than the actual character. Um, it would have been nice though to have gotten a Luke in stormtrooper outfit. Okay. You know, uh, that's the type of thing that this this line can potentially rectify and give us figures that fit in beautifully and seamlessly with our vintage character figures and and look like they fit and belong and were there from the very beginning lumpy mala ooh chewbacca's family didn't didn't somebody like do custom ones of that thing there's been there's yeah. been customized ha hasbro you are dropping the ball if you do not take this suggestion you need yeah, to yeah. do some of the figures from the holiday special you need to do you need to do lumpy you need to do itchy and you need to do mala <laughs> itchy. you need to do those three figures itchy. i how do i forget itchy there's prototypes that 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 uh, kendra had come out with back in the day they were actually gonna do it yeah they, they it just never happened though you oh, know because funny. because the the show aired <laughs> yeah yeah they were like <laughs> but yes you're right dude the, uh, I need to have those figures on the retro collection. And also, also uh, the dude who, uh, and, and I'm sure he has a name, but I do not know it. Uh, when they're going to the Millennium Falcon in, in Episode Four, and that one alien that snitches on him, he's got like that long snout. He's like, yeah, no, he he he's he was in uh, Power of the Force Two. I don't know what that guy's name is. He sucks. They actually made a figure out of Power of the Force Two. Yeah, he's had several characters, several figures made. Okay. He just didn't have a vintage one, so. Uh, but yes, we finally have a Tarkin. We have finally have a vintage-looking Tarkin. Um, so, y you know, I give credit where credit's due on this to Hasbro. Somebody somewhere uh, made enough noise to where they decided to go ahead and, and bring this out. Uh, this was something that I was excited about. Um, and uh, there's not much that excites me that Hasbro's been doing lately, you know. So when they do something like this, I'll take it. I'll gladly pay an extra $10 or so for a board game. I didn't have it before. Maybe we can get a video of playing that too. You know, but, you uh, know what? What custom figures that somebody I saw somewhere that somebody did was uh, the burned remains of Aunt Owen, Aunt <laughs> Uncle Owen, and I've Aunt Beru. Those, those are yes. great. Those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, they made. Wait, are you opening that up? Yes, I'm opening it up. Are you what? Absolutely, dude. This has to be set there. It's I, thought you, I thought you'd put that like on your wall or something. No, no. It has to be open. That's the type of thing that, like, I this this is so cool. I, it has oh, to be open. Fair. You can buy another one. You can just buy another board game, right? That's the only one left. Yeah. This is the only one left in the world. Dude, you're like a little kid, man. Just can't keep your grubby hands. I can't help it, dude. This is so cool. That's that collector you yeah, yeah, yeah. flipped out just right now. What are you doing? Yeah. Yet, all your original Transformers, you never played with them as a kid. You left them in the box. No, I played with them. 
I played with those. My stupid brothers played with them too when I wasn't there. This stuck into your room. <clears throat> oh, by the way, it would have been nice to get B-roll shots of this before you monkey pawed it open. You can still get a B-roll shot of me. <laughs> hey, put, put it back together. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, you know what? You can. You can. No, yeah. I mean, look at this. This has this has that that vintage feel. The uh, the simple five POA. I mean, this is this is great. This is going to. I wonder what this is going to look like next to like Vader and, and several stormtroopers. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> we need to see some more characters that never got vintage releases. Uh, so hopefully this is the first of many. Um, and I salute you, Hasbro, for a step in the right direction. Even though it might be just one step, let's keep it up. I'm going to be honest, though. The game looks like it's kind of uh, boring. Well, we we'll might have to play it to see. Comment below if you want us to play the game, I guess, right? Yeah.